Hello there. In this video, I will give you a walkthrough of breakout rooms in Airmail. Breakout rooms allow the event organizers to create and host short networking or group video chat sessions within an ongoing live session. It can act as a quick icebreaker for the attendees to interact with each other and break into groups for discussions. It can also act as a great way to increase session engagement and attendance. Breakout room works great for sessions like workshops and trainings where the organizer need to split the attendees into groups to discuss specific topics. Let us understand how to set it up. First, go to the session wherein you would like to implement the breakout rooms. And on the top right, click on this breakout room icon. And from there, simply click on this create new breakout. Here you will get two options that is random assignment and uploading the CSV list. You can upload the CSV list anytime during this session or when the session is paused or even before the session starts. You can only upload the information of those attendees who have already registered for this event. In case of random assignment, the people will be randomly assigned to the random breakout rooms, but they will have the choice to join other tables. The breakout rooms will be active only when the session is live. Now let's go ahead and start this session by clicking on this start session button. It will give you a 10 seconds timer to be ready for your session. Now that our session is live and once you are done with your session activities, you can create a breakout room by simply clicking on random assignment. And from here, you can set up the number of participants per room. You can simply click on this plus icon to increase the number or minus icon to decrease the number. You can have a maximum of 30 participants inside the single room. And those 30 participants also include the co-host, speakers, or co-host on the stage. Here you will see how many people are actively participating on this session and how many speakers and hosts are there on the stage. Once you are done, you can also click on this preview rooms to preview how the room will look like. This is how the breakout rooms will look like. The first one you see is the default breakout rooms which will be available only for the host and speakers. The attendees will not be able to join this room, but the other breakout rooms attendee will be able to join on those rooms. Now you can also make these breakout rooms discoverable by toggling on this button. Making breakout rooms discoverable means that the attendees will be able to see all the breakout rooms inside the session and join them whenever they feel like it. Once done, you can click on save for later or you can go ahead and start the breakout session. This will give you a 13 seconds timer and now your breakout room is live. Now on the breakout rooms, you will have the following controls. That is the room layout. You can select the room layout depending on the participants on your room. You can also use your camera and mic to interact with others. If there are more than one people inside this room, you can also share your screen by clicking on this icon. If you have any camera or mic issues, or if you would like to add a virtual background, you can simply click on this two line icon. And from here, you can select your camera if you have many camera inputs. You can also select your virtual background by simply clicking on the background. You can also select different background by clicking on another background. Now, if you would like to simply select the blur, you can do so by clicking on blur. If you would like to remove this virtual background, you can click on this icon and remove them. Now, if you would like to add your own virtual background, then you can upload them from here and use it as per your need. Now you can come to the microphone section and out there you can also select the microphone as per your need. You can also test your microphone using this button. And if you go to the speaker section, you can also select your speakers or simply click on play ringtone to test your speaker. Once done, you can go ahead and save it. On the breakout session as the host, you can also create announcements by clicking on here. You can simply type in your announcement you can write your announcements. You have 200 characters to write your announcements. And once done, you can click on post announcements and the announcement will be posted in such a way to all the participants. As the session was, you can also add the timer to your breakout rooms. Simply click on add timer. And from there, you set out the timer for the rooms. You can also use this plus and minus icons to increase or decrease timer. Once done, you can go ahead and save this. Now the timer will show up here. As the event organizer, you can also change the timer by clicking on the pencil icon and from there you can enter the timer that you desire. The maximum time allowed is 120 minutes and once done, you can go ahead and save it. If you would like to search for a certain attendee, you can do so by clicking on here and plugging in their name. And, and out here you will see which room the attendee is in 
and you can simply click on the join button and join the attendees in the table. Now as a session host or a speaker, you can join any room by clicking on this join button and join others on the rooms and connect with them. While on the table with many attendees, you can also connect with them using this chat option. Now as soon as this timer time runs out, the breakout sessions will close as well. The session host or the organizers also have the option to close the breakout rooms by clicking on close breakout button. Now let us understand how to use the CSV list for the breakout rooms. On your RHS, simply click on this breakout rooms icon, click on create new breakout and from there click on upload list and there click on download template to download the breakout room CSV list and inside the CSV it is mandatory to enter the email address and the breakout room. And once you are done plugging in the email address and the breakout rooms, you can save the CSV and once done you can hover over here and click on upload new to upload your CSV file. Once the CSV files are successfully added, you can simply click on preview rooms to preview the rooms. You will see the breakout room numbers and the people who are mapped to that rooms. You can also make the breakout rooms discoverable by toggling on this button, which means the attendees can see all the breakout rooms and join them on their free will. Once done, you can save this for later or start the breakout session. This will also give you a 13 seconds timer. And once you are inside, you will see the host and speakers default breakout rooms. And you will see all the participants you had added through the CSV list in their respective rooms. The participants can see all the tables and click on join button to join them. And as the host or speaker, you can join other attendees by clicking on join and join their rooms. Even out here, you have the same controls. You can also create announcements or add a timer or a search attendees. Once done, you can click on close breakout to close the breakout. Now let us understand the attendee flow for the breakout rooms. Once the attendee registers and enters the event, they will be led to this page. They can click on the schedule area and from there they can click on join session and they will be able to see that the breakout rooms are in progress. They can click on join button to simply join others on the room. They can also select the layouts. They also have the camera and mic options to connect with others. They can also share their screen. In case of camera or mic issues or if they want to insert their virtual backgrounds, then they can click on this two-line icon and, and do the same from here. The attendees, they cannot create the announcements, but they can search for other attendees by their names. They will also see the timer if enabled by the event organizers. Well, that's all about the breakout rooms. Hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching.